Okay, welcome back to part two of the cargo bike build. What we need to do now is somehow create the cargo area, but before we get to that, I need to do the steering. And we've got the fork up here, but the steer tube is back here, and what we need to do is create a, a steering linkage between the two. Now here's an old fork that I have, but as you can see, it's too short, so I'm going to uh, cut it and extend it. And the way I'm going to cut it to make sure I get a square cut is uh, just with a pipe cutter. Okay, so it turns out the seat tube and the fork tube were the same diameter, so I cut that seat tube that I took this fork off of and uh, made my extension piece with that. Now we'll just uh, clamp this stuff up here and weld it all together. And now we'll get on here with a straight edge, make sure it's aligned. That looks pretty good. This thing's pretty handy. It's a it's called a square. It's made by my pal Tim Sway and I'll leave a card to his channel up in the corner there. Okay, that turned out all right. It's straight for one thing, and that's uh, that's always good. Anyway, now we need a, a, a linkage between this and the fork. And one thing about that linkage is it's going to have an arm sticking out to the side. I want to make sure that that arm is the same length on both the front and the back. That way when you turn the handlebar 30 degrees, the front wheel also turns 30 degrees. So I think the first thing I'll do is I'll fashion the tie rod end connector for the fork. Okay, so these are the rod ends that I have. They're pretty nice. They're stainless steel. They have a half inch bore, so I'm just going to use a, a bolt to attach to it, and I think I'll just use this nut as the anchor point. Okay, that is looking pretty good. I think I'm just going to go with that. One thing you want to do if you, if you ever weld a nut is you want to run a bolt through, make sure it'll still go through. I'm using this quarter inch plate for the steer tube back here on the other end, and uh, the reason I didn't just drill and tap it was because I don't have a half inch fine thread tap. So I'm going to just weld another nut on. Okay, so here's a piece of square tubing I'm going to use for the, uh, for the tie rod. It needs to have two bends in it. It needs to have one bend that will allow the wheel to turn, and it also needs to bend up. This steering linkage is looking pretty good. I think we're going to go with it just the way it is. Okay, now about the only thing left to do is uh, we have to modify the frame. So the crank I'm going to use on this is called a Hammerschmidt and uh, it has a, a planetary gear transmission in the crank and because of that it needs to have the part of the crank fixed to the frame. And that's what these three mounting bolts here are for. So I need to create and install a bracket for those bolts. Alright, well I found this expanded metal over there at the uh, scrap yard and I think I'm going to use that for the floor. Let me cut off a manageable size chunk first. I want you guys to know this piece was 10 feet long and 14 inches wide. They let me have it for five bucks and that's at my local steel scrap yard. So I've got this clamped onto the top. What I'm going to do is just draw the outline around, around it and then I'm going to come through and fold up the sides and uh, that'll give me a little bit of a, a floor. Alright, so I made my floor pans out of my expanded metal and now I'm just going to make a, a cage here and then slip the floor pans in. So I put the floor in, got some paint on it, folded up these edges, and it's uh, kind of sharp. So I took a piece of uh, vinyl tubing, and now I'm going to just kind of stick it on with wire ties to give myself a nice uh, soft edge there. So 
So this bolt pattern is what they call ISCG5. And I don't know what that stands for, but, uh, but I was able to find the bracket. Okay, so I just discovered something. There's my shifter. And it is hitting that right there. So I'm going to have to pull this back off and uh, grind that out. Or actually, I could just leave it on and get on it with a uh, aluminum grinding wheel. Okay, now this is looking pretty good. I just need to wire up the shifter. This is not the right shifter, but I think it I think it'll do. We're going to find out. I just came to the realization I'm missing one part. That's the cable housing end for the shifter. Uh, it's supposed to clamp on to the uh, tube down there and end the cable housing. Then the cable itself will attach to the shifter, which is on the axle. But this thing is ready to ride with that one exception. So it's time for a test ride. Well, I've got the bike upside down because I need to do a frame mod to it. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this cable housing stop that I made so I could use my three-speed shifter. And that turned out all right. That's uh, just a block of UHMW and a U-bolt. Uh, now, I did run into one final snag, and that is this. My kickstand is totally the wrong length. And on top of that, the, the way it's configured, uh, there's there's no place it will work. It's just completely wrong for this application so I'm gonna have to actually build a kickstand. We'll do that right now and then the project will be done. Alright now I think I'm gonna use these handlebars for my feet of my kickstand because I like the uh, shape there. I'm gonna just cut these up and we'll make a little pivot going on up there. Yeah I like that. Okay, so I put these stops on here to locate the kickstand in between and now we need to put a spring on it so it'll stay up. Okay, let's let's get a look at this. If I if I just nail the spring down here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will work. That is looking all right. All right, there you can see the kickstand through the cargo bed. I think it's a little long because I think I'd like the front wheel on the ground, so I'm going to trim about a half an inch off each side. Okay, that's looking pretty solid. But, uh, you know, there's only one way to know for sure. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. That project turned out pretty good. And if you're wondering why a guy would build a cargo bike, it's because I need to get some exercise. And uh, all these runs that I take in my pickup, if I take them on the cargo bike, that'll be some exercise. Because the fact of the matter is I'm too heavy and it's not good for my health. Anyway, that's all for this time. Thanks for stopping in. I'm happy to answer any questions in doobly-doo below, so please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.